Hi Stampers! I'm here to show you a great fun idea to use for decorating your home. It's these lampshade covers and they're made out of our designer series paper. I'm going to use our designer rosettes extra large die right here and use two pieces of 6 by 12 um, designer series paper. The key to this, there's two sides to this die. One is a zigzag and one is a scallop. So I want to fold my paper. It's six inches right here on the actual lampshade. So I'm just going to fold it all the way over because the six inches doesn't cover the die. It won't matter if there's a crease in it. You're not going to know that once everything is folded and the creases are put in. So I'll go ahead and I, I've actually drawn a white line here so that you can know how to line that up without it's kind of difficult sometimes on the black to see that line so I'm going to line that up and kind of put that over I'm just going to put this in the big shot I put a little shim of just um, paper on top just to push it down a little bit and I've already done the other one so you have two of them that are going to make the lampshade so I'm going to open this up and it's got score marks on it. It's kind of hard to see because of the polka dots. But I'm just going to fold this, fan fold it back and forth all the way to the end. And there's the other one that I already had folded. Oops, you just want to make sure that you actually get it on the, um, the score line. Okay, you get to the end of your fan folding and you have two pieces. And then we're going to adhere those pieces together, the one facing down and the one facing up. And we're just going to sandwich that right over and I'm going to use the green glue. It just fits right over each other. And then you'll press that down so it adheres good. And then I'm going to scrunch that up again so you've got one whole fan fold. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure from the top here about an inch down or so and I'm just going to make a mark at the one side. You really only need to make one mark and then after you've started you just scrunch it all together and then you can make all the marks at once. So scrunch that all together, have the one mark and just make a line all the way across. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a crocodile and I'm going to punch, take several of them, five or six of them, and I'm going to punch a hole right in the actual paper, just the edge of it, so it gives like just a little notch and that's where the ribbon is going to go to hold it together so on the lamp it doesn't fall off your lamp. So I'm going to do that again, find the notch and do it again. Okay, sometimes you have to go back and make a notch a little bit bigger because if it's the fan fold isn't exactly on. So just check those notches and see if you need to make one just a little bit deeper in. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're going to go ahead and take the green glue again and we're just going to adhere the two all the way to each other. And all you do, just go back and forth. I've kind of gotten carried away with this because I've done my chandelier and I've done a bunch of lamps. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to take this Halloween one off and this little lamp here and we're just going to put the Christmas one on. And it just fits right over like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and just wrap it around in that little notch so it just fits right in there and then it will like hold it tight. Love this because you can change it for the different holidays. Lots of fun. And let's trim this. You can even put jingle bells on the bottom of it. See and that's a little lamp that you can have for the holidays. Let me show you a couple other ones. The chandelier upstairs has these little different ones that are this size to go on and just make some smaller ones. You just measure the size that you want and then put your cardstock on it. And if you need a bigger size, like some of the lamps behind me, they're bigger. So I basically, what I had to do here was I had to fold it right here 
and um, make sure that it was bigger. So, and these little planters right here are the same way. I folded the cardstock to get these little planter things in here with the DSP. But it's a lot of fun to use your DSP for decorating your home. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.